in this example what is our requirement is a current response what is the requirement is the current response current response in the 10 ohm resistance current response in the 10 ohm resistance now as per this given information is asking the complete response as per given information is asking the complete response our requirement is a complete response to find out complete response for this one we can use a general formula we can use a general formula we can use a general formula now correspond to this general formula what is our requirement is the first requirement is i of 0 plus that means sir we need the initial current for this branch initial current for this branch for that one here first you have to focus on the inductor first you have to focus on the inductor initial current to find out the initial current let us develop the equivalent circuit let us develop the equivalent circuit at t equal to 0 minus at t equal to 0 minus whenever you are solving this model of questions first to focus switch position very carefully because if you change the switch position entire solution changes as per given information at t equal to 0 second switch is the closed what is meaning of 0 minus is the immediately before operating the switch meaning of 0 minus is the immediately before operating the switch now before operating switch and uh, as well as 0 uh, minus we can also name it as it is a steady state condition before operating the switch steady state condition before operating switch dekhe in this example switch was open under steady state condition for dc source how this inductor behaves is a short circuit now for the dc source in this example the switch is open there will be this branch will not influence the calculation now correspond this branch here this uh, inductor inductor replaced by short circuit inductor replaced by short circuit under steady state condition this inductor replaced by short circuit now let us find out the initial current corresponding this branch given name is il of 0 minus jo total current hai na 1.5 distributed in the branch 1 and the branch 2 देखिए एग्जांपल में बोथ ब्रांचेस हैव द इक्वल वैल्यू ऑफ रेजिस्टेंस बोथ ब्रांचेस हैव द इक्वल वैल्यू ऑफ रेजिस्टेंस देयर बी करंट ऑफ द बोथ ब्रांच आर द सेम करंट ऑफ बोथ ब्रांच आर सेम देन व्हाट द करंट ऑफ दिस वन इक्वल 0.75 एम्पीयर्स द टोटल करंट इज इक्वली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड नाउ वी नीड द करंट ऑफ दिस ब्रांच नाउ करंट ऑफ द इंडक्टर इज ऑब्टेंड ए टी इक्वल टू 0 माइनस नाउ लेट अस डेवलप द इक्विवेलेंट सर्किट ए टी इक्वल टू 0 प्लस Let us see the equivalent circuit at t equal to zero plus. Now inductor current at zero plus and zero minus. Inductor current at zero plus and zero minus both are the same. What the current of this one? How much? Point seven five. In this example, many of them do, many students do one common mistake. Simply, what they think here? Simply, they write the this I of zero plus. I of zero plus. Simply, they take as a point seven five. But that statement valid provided. if he is asking the response correspond to inductor but in this particular example if you observe question carefully he is asking the branch to response not branch to response that's why here i of 0 plus current correspond to branch to different and branch three different branch three is the inductor current branch is the inductor current okay and one more thing jo general formula hai na this general formula is valid for the first order system first order system for any element it may be either for resistor or be for the inductor the general formula is valid for the both for resistive branch as well as for the inductor branch only necessary condition it should come under the first order system dekhe example mein what is our requirement response correspond to branch 2 what is the requirement response correspond to branch 2 let us develop the equivalent circuit at t equal to 0 plus At t equal zero plus, the switch is a closed. 
a t equal to 0 plus the switch is closed. Now for this example here inductor have the initial current. For this example inductor have the initial current. When inductor have the initial current here it can replace by the current source. When inductor have the initial current it can replace by the current source. Point seven five. And you can focus on direction also. Inductor nature is a, it does not allow sudden change of current and it does not allow sudden change of direction also. For this example, what is the direction of the downwards? Here also exactly same direction indicated, same direction indicated. Now observe here. Look like here, if you apply KCL here, 1.5 is the incoming current, 1.5 is the incoming current. In the last branch, in the last branch, outgoing current how much here? 0.75. Look okay, here, 1.5 incoming, in the last branch is the 0.75. No remaining current, remaining current distribute the two branches, remaining current distribute two branches. Take either 1.5 minus 0.75, then what remaining current is the 0.75. The 0.75 is equally distributed, equally distributed two branches, 0 0.375, 0 0.375, 0 0.375. As for given information, as for given information, we need the response correspond to branch 2. We need a response correspond to branch 2. That means here, as per given data here, the branch 2, the branch 2 response, I of 0 plus, I of 0 plus equal to, we can write this as a 0 0.375. Initial current is completed. This initial current is completed. Okay. Then what is the requirement as per our formula is, a, one more requirement is I of infinite. One more formula is I of infinite. I of infinite, for that one, let us develop the equivalent circuit. Let us develop this equivalent circuit at t equal to infinite. What is the meaning of t equal to infinite? Steady state condition after operating switch. Meaning of t equal to infinite is a steady state condition after operating switch. In this example, under steady state condition, under steady state condition, again for DC source, again for DC source, how this inductor, inductor behaves as a short circuit. It is a steady state condition after operating the switch, after operating the switch. 10 ohms, 10 ohms. What is our requirement? We need the response correspond to, we need the response correspond to branch 2. We need a response correspond to branch 2. They get the 1.5 1.5 distributed in the all the branches. Then what a current of each branch? Current of each branch how much here? 0.5. Current of each branch how much here? 0.5 amperes. Then if you simplify this one, I of infinite. Corresponds example, what are the I of infinite? What are the I of infinite equal to how much here? 0.5 amperes. Oh, correspond branch to, they go the initial current is completed. Initial current is completed. What about the this final current is also completed? If you substitute the respective values, if you substitute the respective values in this one, what the final current is a 0.5. Now exponential of exponential of let us verify this uh, R value and L value also. To verify this R value, L value, let us find out time constant. Actually, check and let us verify time constant also. Before that one, if you read the respect to values, I of infinite 0.5. Now, without finding time constant, finally option check and is it possible to select the correct answer or not. In this example, if you observe carefully options, in the op all the options, exponential term is the same. Exponential term is the same. That's why here, without calculating time constant also, without calculating time constant also, According to options, that will be the answer. Because in the objective questions, always our target is a getting correct answer in the less time. Getting correct answer in the less time. That's why based on the options, if you solve the problem, we can save the time in the exam. You can save the time in the exam. Because the I of infinite is a 0.5. I of infinite 0.5. With this one, can you D is the incorrect option. What about the B is also incorrect option. Now come to this A and C options. A and C options. In the C and C options, if you observe here, 0 0.5, 0 0.375. Now, difference of these two, difference of these two, which one supporting here? This A is a correct option. A is a correct option. 
in this example here different uh, all the exponential terms are the same that's why here for this one only based on the initial values final values directly you can see the answer okay let us verify the time constant also. Let us verify this exponential term also. In this example, hmm. corresponds example, meaning of this R, meaning of R is but equivalent resistance, equivalent resistance. For that one, let us find out time constant. To come to the equivalent resistance, let us find out the time constant. To find out the time constant, the provisor is the deactivate all the independent sources. Deactivate all the independent sources. Deactivate means the current source is the open circuit. Deactivate means the current source is the open circuit. And always the time constant is calculated after operating the switch. Always the time constant is calculated after operating the switch. Take an example may after operating the switch is closed. Deactivate means the current source is the open circuit. Current source is the open circuit. Now corresponds example here, what is the inductor? Inductor how much here? 15 milli Henry. Inductor 15 milli Henry. Now let us find out the, the corresponding equivalent resistance. To find out this equivalent resistance here, we have to select the AB points. In this example, we have to select the AB points such that we should be able to separate the, all the group of resistors and group of inductors. In this example, the AB points, you know, that AB points selected such that we can able to separate the group of resistors and group of inductors. Then for this example, if you look the A, B points, can you focus on this resistance sir? For this one, we can give answer as a 10, 10, both are connected to the panel. 10, 10, both are in the panel. This combination is connected to the series. This combination is connected to the series. That means sir, we can conclude as a, this R equal to 10 plus. What are the 10, 10, both are in the panel? Panel means what are the equivalent is how much here? 5 ohms. Equivalent to 5 ohms. That means, sir, the total equivalent resistance, total equivalent resistance is 15. Total equivalent resistance is 15. And in our given example, only one inductor is given. What about this inductor value? How much here? Now, 5 milli Henry. 5 milli Henry. That means, sir, here the R value is completed. Uh, inductor is 15, sorry. 15 milli Henry. In this example here, now resistance is known, this inductance is known. Resistance is known, inductance is known. If you substitute the respective values, then what do you get answer? Can I like this, sir? This R equal to how much here? 15. Here the R equal to 15. What about this inductance equal to this 15 milli Henry? By simplifying this one, we can conclude the answer. Okay. In this example, main important point is the before solving problem, file a checker look. In which branch is asking response? Whether he is asking the inductor current response or the any other branch response. That is the important point. And next thing is uh, the general formula, you know, general formula is valid correspond to first order system. It is valid to find out response of either inductor or any resistor.